Good morning and welcome back to the channel everyone. Um, so as I stated in the last video, um, we do have a few sites booked up over the coming weeks. Um, I've got a few more maintenance tasks I want to do on the caravan before we go and collect it from storage. Um, we probably will go and collect it in a couple of weeks just so again we can pull it out and do our final tests on that. Uh, make sure the heating, the water, everything's working as expected, a, a full test, uh, give it a good clean inside, um, last sort of checks, make sure there's no sort of damage or water ingress, anything along those lines, um, and again, just so again, we're, we're, we're set for the, the season. Um, again, we've been over a few times, so I'm not expecting anything major, but again, it's just those key systems that were, you do need to fire up and just make sure they're working as expected. Um, so today's video is going to be around the, the rubber seals um, in the windows and the arms and just making sure that they're in uh, good working order and um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you the process and hopefully some of you find this beneficial um, and just sort of, yeah, I'll show you what we go through in terms of preparation. So yeah, so I'm just going to start off having a look at the, the seals around the caravan, the doors, uh, the smaller windows at the back of the caravan and the main, uh, basically anything with a rubber seal. Um, obviously over the winter months, obviously it's been very cold, we've had ice, we've had rain, um, and as it starts warming up as well, um, we just need to make sure that the seals are still intact as expected. Um, with those kinds of conditions, uh, it's quite easy for the, the rubber to go brittle. And it just really depends on the age of the caravan as well. So it's just a, a really good idea just to have a look around them, make sure that they are, they're intact as expected. Um, and whilst you're doing that, it's good to have a look at the arms themselves, uh, the screws, just make sure that they're there um, and they haven't sort of fallen out um, due to the vibrations of moving the caravan over the, the summer period. Um, we've certainly been there where, again, I've moved the, uh, the window out and then found that a couple of the screws are there. So either the, the top of the arm pivots around slightly, it doesn't lock in place or it doesn't, it just moves away altogether. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean on, on in terms of that, just uh, things to look out for. So here's, here's the, the rubber seals, obviously, and these are things that we're going to have a look at. Um, and in terms of screws, these this is what I was referring to, this part. Again, I've had these where uh, one of them's come loose or fallen out and then what happens is obviously with one gone it then twists this round there's nothing to lock it in place um, and then it just puts more stress on the other side so again really quick and simple just to make sure that they're still there um, and they're done up tight so on the opposite side um, these work slightly different here these have a, a square um, little nut and I'm not sure if you can see it just there and again that's another area that you just need to be careful with um, we've had those come out as well loosen um, and where we've been lucky with that is they've fallen out um, and they've actually just fallen inside the caravan under the seating so again if, if you have got that it is worth double checking um, but it, they were a, a nightmare to find to start with. It was just by chance. I thought I'd have a look uh, and found it between the wires um, where the wiring loom comes around. So yeah, these are the ones that will probably cause you the most grief. So yeah, just double check. Um, and obviously you will need to unscrew these to, to be able to get ac access to that. But again, won't take long. Just go around the windows that have those that kind um, and just make sure that yeah, they're done up as expected. So obviously it's just about following the same process all the way around the caravan, opening the windows, checking the different types of screws that you have. Um, one of the areas that we had issue before was the ones at the back where the kids are. Um, and again, it was back down to the top ones missing a couple of screws. So when we were trying to lock the windows in place, they weren't and they were sort of just flapping around a bit. So again, only takes five, 10 minutes just to go around them all 
give them a good tighten up, make sure that, that yeah, they're, they're still there. And again, if they're not, obviously a, a standard sort of screw, just take one, an existing one out, just check what they are and then go to your sort of hardware store if you need to get some. But again, worth having as some spares anyway, just in case that you do lose them. Um, and again, it doesn't cause you a problem when you're away on site. So the, the, the screws that we were just looking at then are all Phillips. And again, when, when you go caravanning, um, again, it's always a good idea to have a small toolkit. I don't mean sort of a, a toolbox full of them, but yeah, your yeah, you standard sort of size screwdrivers, a pair of pliers. Um, and again, we can cover that in another video, but just, just some sort of basic tools you should be taking. So if you don't do come across any issues, you've got a good uh, chance of actually doing some of these repairs on site. So the next area will be actually applying the silicon spray to the, the rubber seals. Um, this is what we use the Holtz, so I'll leave it in the description below. You don't have to use this one. Again, there's many different products that do the same thing. Um, but again, it's just about going around, uh, applying some of this, rubbing it in, uh, cleaning the, the rubber seals up, making sure they're all intact as expected. Um, uh, and again, it should only sort of take a few minutes per window, but again, it just makes sure that that rubber seal stays in really good condition, doesn't go brittle, and it's something that you have to replace later on. So yeah, worth spending the time just to go around checking everything, because again, these are the things that are, are stopping any sort of water ingress, and you want these to be in really tip-top condition. So when it comes to applying the spray, obviously read the instructions, give it a good spray, make sure you've got a cloth handy, and then it should just be a case of going along, applying some, some of the silicon, and then just working it in and underneath. As you can see, straight away the sort of difference that makes um, just by applying this and again it's just you're just trying to prolong the, the longevity of the, the seals themselves so again it's just about repeating this process um, but take your time um, like I say it's worth doing right uh, and uh, yeah we'll save you a few quid in the long term Okay, so that is one of the windows done. As you can see, quite a, a simple process. You can get the outside uh, rubber as well as the inside and then just use a cloth um, and then just rub it in around the window. Um, you can see, like I say, it comes up really well. And again, if you uh, just spend a few minutes on each window, again, you can keep these in uh, really good condition. But it um, should be as simple as that. So yeah, uh, a short video this week, um, but again, like I say, a very useful one in, in terms of keeping the, the maintenance jobs up on these. Um, and yeah, crucial for making sure that you don't have any water ingress in terms of uh, uh, later months. Um, again, a couple of minutes per window, quick visual of the screws, make sure they're all tightened up and they are present. And then yeah, just go around the window with this lubricant spray and work it into the rubber both sides. Um, and yeah, if you're a bit, if you're not confident with the spray, again, use a bit of cardboard. And you can put that on the inside just so you don't get any overspray onto the curtains or into the van itself. But um, yeah, uh, a simple process, and it's just about repeating what we've just done around the, the caravan until everything's done. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that's it for this week, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.
Cheers all, and I'll see you soon.